Hello everybody, this is Colleen Minning. I am a paparazzi independent consultant. I am going to show you how to create a quick and easy photo collage of your paparazzi stock photos. Um, the reason that we like to make our own collages out of our photos um, that we are provided that are provided for us from paparazzi is so that we can make our our images our own and so it'll help prevent us from being put in Facebook jail by posting and sharing all the same photos that every other consultant out there is um, sharing and and posting as well so this will will prevent that from happening um, plus for from my sake anyway for or the reason I do this is because I like to share the model photo so that people can kind of get an idea of what the jewelry looks like on somebody but I also like to put, use the white background photo that is um, provided also because it gives a, a clearer photo or clearer picture of the photo or the pro the item itself sorry <clears throat> um, so you can get a better idea of what the actual jewelry looks like kind of a, a little bit up close uh, picture so I'm going to go through how I create them I use a, a software program an online software program called pick monkey and um, this particular program I use because it's very inexpensive um, it's easy and it's quick to use so there's lots of, of um, programs out there that you can use but this one just happens to be one that I like um, so I'm going to show you how to use that okay um, first thing we're going to do is go to pickmonkey.com now they used to have a free trial I'm not sure if they still do um, but you can check that out and see if they do if um, if not it's $4.99 a month I believe and it's unlimited um, templates and unlimited use there's tons of fonts sometimes I could I can take forever just picking out a font because <laughs> because there's so many options so um, it's a pretty pretty cool program. You can do so much stuff with it. So they just recently, I mean like within the last week or so, updated PicMonkey and it's all different now. So um, I'm going to show you how to get to the collages. I, I still don't even have an idea of how to do a lot of things yet. One thing that I do, um, I have seen is this recent project. Um, this is pretty cool. They didn't used to have this, but they now store your recent projects up here and you can click on them and have instant access to them, which is really awesome because they didn't used to, uh, keep your projects. Um, and also like if I wanted to create something like this, this model horse swap meet, um, flyer that I made, if I wanted to recreate that, but maybe just change a couple things. I'd have to start from scratch to redo the entire thing. Now you can click on it and it'll bring it up and then you can edit it, which is really cool. Um, so they also have all these templates that you can do use. Um, these are great for making flyers and things like that. It's, it's not something I use for the um, photo collage, but it's a, it's a really cool thing. You can select all kinds of different um, templates and just edit them to your liking. Then you can also start from a blank slate. So you've got your Facebook post, you got a flyer, Instagram, YouTube thumbnails, um, which is really cool. And then here's the collage. This is what we are going to use. So we're gonna click on that. And then this is, so collage is still in the old pick monkey so um, this eventually won't always come up 
but um, for now, it says they're still working on the collage part of it. Like I said, this is very new. So you just click on go to collage. And then it's going to pop up. It's done a couple different things. Sometimes it takes me right to the collage like it did this time. Sometimes it, times it kicks me out and I, I just have to do that step again. So here's your collage. And you've got some choices over here um, as to how to change it, how to rearrange it and all that stuff. It gives you some stock images um, for the seasons. Like this is right now it's kind of back to school. Um, sometimes you'll see winter or summer, or whatever. I just go in and delete these. I just hit the little check mark to remove the image. And that's because I load a lot of images at once. And you're only able to upload or load in 40 images at a time. So I get rid of all those because I don't need them. So I do that first. And then over here, this is your image um, tab. So you can see we're in the um, process of adding images. Here is your layout. So you can see um, there's the ducks in a row, there's cards, here's square deal. You can kind of see if you click on it, it'll give you all these other options as well. Biggie Smalls, which is what's on here now. You can see again other options. Um, Facebook covers, I mean, there's all kinds of them. So I just leave this one on here. It's no big deal. I go in here. So there's three squares. And I just need two. So I'm going to delete one of those. Okay. Um, the other two things here, just so I go over them and cover them. Oh, excuse me. Late here. Sorry. <laughs> Um, this is swatches. So say I want the background different. Now in this case I don't, but I'll just show you how, how this kind of works. Um, if I want to use this as, as a background, you can click and drag right into your square. Into that little, little area. So these are actually swatches in the squares that, um, where your image will go once you replace an if you put an image there it's going to take away the swatch okay now these are not backgrounds your background is right here so i can change my background to black to kind of an orange so you can see how the background of these the area is changing colors not the squares if i want to get rid of this this Swatch actually acts as an image. So you're going to click here to remove that. Now you can see my background. Okay. So these little areas are independent of each other. Now, say I want to add another photo or a space for a photo. You would go in here and let's get rid of the swatch. Actually, let's change the background back to white. I just want a white background. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to go and upload some images, and I'm going to show you how to make your collage. So you click on Add Images, go to My Computer. Um, that, that's where I store mine. I mean, if, if you have a different place, you can go to Facebook, OneDrive, all these different places. Okay, I just store mine on my computer, so I click on My Computer. And I'm going to go and find, uh, let's see, 917 order. Okay, so there's my images right there. So, as you can see, uh, let's make them bigger so you can see better. As you can see, I've got my model photo, and I've got my white photo, and I've got the earrings. So, for my purposes, I do not use the earring photo because the white background photo has the earrings in it already. So I really don't need to waste my time using this image when I've got the picture here. So I select all of my images that I want to upload, which is pretty much all of it, except for, and well, and I don't know if you guys know all this either, but 
if you're going to select, whoops, I guess I need my uh, Starlet Shimmer. If you're going to select everything, you can click one photo at the very beginning, go to the very end, hold your shift key, and then click the last photo, and it selects everything. Okay? So now, I, like I said, I don't use those little earring pictures. So I'm going to take those back off because I can only load 40 at a time. And um, I'm not going to use them anyway. So I might as well not even upload those. So if you hold your control button down, keep holding it down, and then deselect everything you don't want to upload. I don't want that one. And you can see now how it's white instead of blue. So keep your your control button down. And let's see, here's the earrings for this necklace. I don't want that. I don't want that one. Um, when you scroll, let your control button up. And you can see they still, they still, Stay deselected. So uns take the control off while you scroll. Otherwise, you're going to zoom in and out. Okay, so I want to scroll down just a little bit. Now I'm going to press my control again and get rid of the earrings for that necklace and for that necklace. Now you don't have to do this. You can select everything if you want to. I am just deselecting the ones I don't need. Okay. All right, so everything that I want to upload is uploaded. Oops, I don't want that. So I'm going to hit open, and it's going to load all the images. If you have more than 40, it's going to pop up with a little message here saying, oops, it can't load everything. So it's going to load what it can, and then you can work with what you have, and then you can go back and load the rest after you get rid of some of these pictures. Okay. So what I'm going to do is my first item is this here, this necklace here. I'm going to click it and hold it and drag it into this first spot. Okay, and then I'm going to find the white background picture, which is actually right here. I'm going to click and hold and drop it into the second spot. And you can see how it's just way too big, right? Well, <clears throat> first of all, it's 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. That's a big image, and I don't want it to be that big anyway. So I'm going to resize the actual uh, canvas of my collage. To do that, I'm going to get my little cross um, arrows here. I'm going to click and hold it and drag it in. And I usually set mine around 12, whoops, around 12. 50 ish somewhere around there. It's not I it's never exact. I don't usually measure it exactly um, Just because it really doesn't matter too much. I just keep it in the 1200 range and Then I'm going to do the same thing with the top So I'm going to get my little crosshairs and I'm going to drag this down Until and I know this is hard to see when it's small, but until I see the logo I do not want to crop the logo out of my photos, okay? You want to keep your your logo in there. So if you see, I if, if I kept going, you see how my logo disappears? So I want to stretch it back out enough to where you can see the logo. Sometimes you may have to come out a little bit, but you see how they adjust in size the, as, as I move it? So you just kind of got to play with it until you get it the right size that you want. Now. You can also adjust the size of this photo or this one by getting your little cross arrows, clicking and dragging side to side. Okay. Now I want mine to just be equal. That's fine. Now say I want to add another photo in here. So so say this is the earrings that came with it. I'm gonna I want to add them in there. Okay. I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to drop this picture wherever I want that photo to go. So if I want it to go under this, you see how I get these little bar, that little bar right there? Or if I want it to go under here, see how I get that little bar? So 
So watch what I, happens if I get the little half bar right directly under the photo. It's going to pop a new window, a new photo space right here below it. Okay. Now, maybe I didn't want it to go there. So click the X to delete the picture, and then you have to delete the space. And then you see that popped right back up. Let's say I want it to go, oh my goodness. Say I want it to go the entire length of the photo. See how that bar is only half? Now it's a full size bar. If I drop it there, it's going to add a photo space that takes up the entire space there. Okay. Now, if I want to add a third one on the side here, you get the bar on the side, drop it in, and there you go. It works on all sides. You could drop it on the top, drop it on the right, left, bottom. You can even drop it right in the middle. So you really have a lot of, of options here as to where you place your, your photos. For my purposes, I just want two photos, the model photo and the white background, okay? But if you did have, you could really, just depending on where you're dropping your pictures, so you could do all kinds of different shapes and stuff, or you could come over here to the, um, to the, uh, template or layout and change it however you want. I'll say I want to switch it to this. Now it, give, it changes it and you can move these around by clicking and dragging. Sometimes you have to get it just right. There we go. So you can rearrange however you want. You can go back over here, add more. See, so you've got a lot of options as to how to do these. You can add the background if you wanted to change the background. So it's pretty cool. It's a really, really easy program. So let me just get back to where I was. I'm gonna drag that back. Go back to my image and get my white background. And you notice when I changed the layout, it defaulted back to the 2000 by 2000 size. So I need to readjust again. About 1250 ish. Eh, close enough. Go down here till I see my logo. Logo. Oops, too far. Okay, that's a little bit big. There we go. So there is my first um, collage. This is what I want to use. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit export right here. I'm going to export this to my computer. And then I'm going to find that picture right here. Click on it so it brings up the name. I'm just going to add a number three to the end of that just so I have all of them right in the row. I've got image one. Image two, you can see I called it necklace two, and then this is necklace three. So when I go back to look at my files, it's bam, 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 one, two, three. Easy for me to keep track of that way. So now if I want to see, if I want to use just one image, I have those images saved. But if I want the collage, I can easily find it um, in my files. And it's just labeled as number three. So let's do another one. I want to do, here's these earrings here. I want the model photo, and I want the white photo. And there is image, or uh, collage number two. I'm going to export. I'm going to find my file of those, which is these right here. I'm going to change that to three. And that's done. So, you see how easy and fast that is. Now, the pictures that I've already used, I'm gonna delete those, just get them out of my way. You can see these pop up even um, further up. So here's another one. Drag it and drop it. Export. 
to my computer. There they are. Add a number three there. Done. Now I just made three collages within a few seconds. Get rid of these because I've already done them. Um, here's that turquoise necklace. Let me find the white background for that. There it is. Drag and drop. Export to my computer. Uh, there it is. Image number four. So you see how quick and easy this is. Now, if you wanted to add text, or something like that to these images. Um, you can send your collage to the editor. This is where the really cool, really fun stuff happens. Oh, and just so you know, if you hit save, um, it's going to save an image, but I'm not really sure where it saves it to. I never use that. I export it, so I have the file. <coughs> so I just recommend exporting it. Okay, so I'm going to send this to the editor and export to editor. And this is where all the fun stuff happens. Here are all of your um, text or font. So again, same concept. It's got a bunch of, of little tabs here. This is basic edit. You can change your exposure. So I want bright or not bright. Obviously I would not want to change the color of these images just because you know we want an accurate representation obviously. So you can make adjustments, hit apply if you want. I'm going to cancel that one. Um, colors, if I wanted to add color saturation. So there's some cool stuff here. Canvas color. Canvas color would overwrite your photos. You don't want to do that. Um, here's effects. Now these are cool. This is where you can get really creative. So say I want to do uh, actually let's not do that one. You can see it changed the color a little bit. And you can fade it or not. Let me find one that's kind of cool. Tranquil. So you can see it adds some different effects to it. There's your dark edges. If you want it really intense. So you can be, you can do some cool stuff. There's if you want to turn it black and white. We don't. And this this program can be used for all kinds of stuff, not just for jewelry. Okay, so you've got tons and tons of options here. I mean, some, a lot of a lot of choices here. Here's um, this is kind of hard because it's just images to see what some of these are. Um, lens flare. And then you can actually move these also. So you can make them bigger. That's a lens flare. Um, so yeah, you just play with these. Play with them and see what they do. Actually, I don't even know what that one does. I don't think you can really see it on this image. So, um, the effects are pretty cool. Um, this is a touch up. This is for like if you have um, faces, you can actually add like blush and you can do wrinkle remover and stuff like that. I mean, really fine touch ups if it was a picture of a person. Here's your text and check out all of these fonts. I mean, tons. Tons of fonts. Look at all those. And they kind of have them separated like, this is pretty cool, like here's undead text. So like if you're adding a, a Halloween theme or something like that. Um, 
text, I'll just kind of show you. So if I wanted to add the name of this, click on Add Text, and you're going to get your little text bar right here. You can see I'm moving it. Um, this is your text box. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to drag my text right here. And I don't even know what this is called. I'm just going to say copper oops, necklace. Okay. So um, when you click inside the box once, you're in edit mode. It's selected already. So you can... It's just kind of like working in, in an Excel uh, cell in Microsoft Excel. You can highlight inside the text box. If you if you click out, um, now I'm not in edit mode anymore, but I can click and drag it. So, But I want to change the font. So I'm going to highlight the, the font or the word, and I'm going to select, let's do exquisite quartz. So you see that? So I'm going to make it bigger. But oh gosh, look, it doesn't really fit lengthwise. So since it's still selected, you can see the whole box is selected. I'm going to center that. And then I'm going to resize it just a little bit. And then I want it to go straight across. So I'm going to get back on my box and get my little arrows and I'm going to drag it until um, it's stretched enough to where it's all on one. Now I'm going to change the color. I want this to be orange. So I'm going to highlight the text again. Click on orange. There we go. Not the prettiest thing, but you get the idea. <laughs> if I don't like that font, click in there, highlight it. Let's change it to Dracula. Click in it. Uh, smash open. Okay, so there's lots of really cool stuff you can do with this. Obviously, I don't really, I'm not going to keep that on there, but um, here is your shapes, your graphics. That's simple geographic shapes. So say I want this down here, but I want it to be on a different color background or something. I could add a geometric shape. Say like that. And then I can move my font right on top, which I need to resize because that's too darn big. I'm going to move my text box right here. Now you see how you can't see it. So you need to rearrange the order of your your uh, shape. So click on the shape and um oops that was wrong. You can right click and hit send to back and there you go. So it moved it to the back of your um your text. Okay. So it really just takes a little bit of playing around, just moving things around. Um, but you've got heart shapes, you've got stars, you've got lines, you've got arrows, symbols. And these are literally, you click it, and it's going to show up. Okay. And then you can change your colors. If you want to. You can fade it and make it look a little bit lighter, like a little watermark. So all kinds of, of stuff you can do. If you don't want it on there, click it and just delete. So I'm going to click that, delete it. Click that, delete it. Okay. So it's literally just adding stuff um, by clicking on them. They'll pop right up. If you don't like it, delete it. Um, and there's tons and tons and tons of choices here. Like daisies, we could add a little flower. I mean, all kinds of stuff. So that is your um, little graphics. 
you could do a frame. So say I want a museum map. I could change the color of the inside. Um, here's a cool little tidbit. For the paparazzi pink, if you want the color to be paparazzi pink, click into this box and the code is EE008C. Type that in, hit enter, and that is the paparazzi pink uh, co color code. So if you want to use that in all your images and things like that, it's EE008C. So that is all you got to do to change the color. If you wanted a different color, you can change it to whatever color you want. Paparazzi Pink EE008C. Enter. There we go. Okay, so you could do simple edge if you want. You could do shape cutout. Obviously, that's a little, little much, <laughs> but you could change it, make a little pow signs. Uh, you could do drop shadows, all kinds of cool stuff. This is textures. So if you want clouds in the background, and then you can change it to different kinds of clouds. If you want metal. You can change it to different metals. Uh, paint. A couple different kinds of paints that you can use. Pretty cool. Um, this is by theme. So you can see, like, um, trick or treat. It'll give you graphics that are trick or treat style that would go with, with Halloween. So it kind of just breaks it down into theme. There's garland that would be appropriate. There's pumpkins. There's Then it shows you what frames you can use. So this is kind of cute. I'll get that out of the way. Um, you can do little Halloween frames with a little uh, image there. And then it also gives you the fonts that are related to Halloween. I'm not sure why those are, but they are. <laughs> anyway, so you could go through any kind of theme. There's winter, Santa, sweetheart, lots of uh, hearts and things like that. So that's kind of cool. And then you can also go through templates here, too, if you wanted to. But since... You know, this is, we don't want to change anything on our actual collages for our paparazzi. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what, what this does for you. So when you're done and you've made any changes to whatever you want, you hit your export button. And again, you'll export it to your computer. Now, I'm not going to do that with this because I didn't, in case I didn't change stuff back, I don't want to mess it up. So I want to go back to my collage. So I'm going to hit X, close that. I'm not going to save that. And then I'm going to go back in, go to collage. Now, once you get to editor, you kind of have to start all over again with your collages. So, for our purposes, for the, the paparazzi collages that we have, I'm just going to add them all. Um, I would just get them all done before going and doing any kind of editing, if you can. So, um, let's see. I already did that. I did that one and that one. Did that. That. Okay, here's another one. Click and drag. Click and drag. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to resize. I'm going to drag it down to where I see my logo. Make any little adjustments I need. There we go. And then I'm going to export that. Export. 
and again, find the image, save the collage, and then I'm going to do my next one. Like that, and go back on the second one, export. I'm just going to show you real quick how fast this can go. Like that one, I already did that. Here's that ring, kind of a cool little ring. Export. So you literally could be making these within just a few minutes and you could be done making all of your collages for your entire order. So you can also do like if you have a set, uh, where's my necklace? I did that one, that one, I did those, those, don't need that. Um, oops. bunch of earrings and stuff I didn't need. Okay, here's the, so I have this necklace, and I have the matching bracelet to that, so I can go find that image. There it is. And drag that. Now I can advertise this as a two-piece set, the necklace and the bracelet, and then I could go into editor and I could put $10 for the set right on the picture if I wanted to. Um, so that's an option. And then I actually will keep that. I'm going to export that. And then I usually just do this. I go set. And then I'm going to do a brace. Actually, let's do the necklace right here. I'm going to still do my collage for the individual items because somebody may not want the set. And those. these earrings, these earrings are gorgeous, by the way. So you get the idea. I'm not going to do all of, them, all of them on this video, but I wanted to show you how fast that can go. I'm about halfway done with my order already. So that is really all there is to Pick Monkey. It's super easy, super easy to make your collages. And I'll show you on my Facebook group how that looks. Close all these. My goodness. It's busy. Um, so as you're in my group and scrolling, you'll see all of my collages right there. So there's one. You can see all of them are the same. It's very uniform. Um, my customers know exactly what to expect from, from the photos that I post on here. I've got the model photo. I've got the, the white background photo. They show the earrings for the um, necklaces. And every single one of them is the same. It's, it's very uniform and, you know, consistent. Consistency is very important. So, pretty easy. Um, so, that is it. So, I hope that you found some use out of this um, video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, um, Feel free to message me and I can help you um, maneuver through the program if you want to. Um, again, it's pickmonkey.com. You can go right on there and sign up for your account. It's, I believe, like I said, $4.99 a month is, I think, what I pay. So, pretty affordable for what you get. I mean, I, you know, we, we use it all the time. So, if you, like I said, have any questions, just message me. Um, be sure to check out my VIP page if you're new to paparazzi. Um, you want to check out how I do mine, you're more than welcome to join that. It's uh, Bedazzle Me Pretty. Um, just do a search for me there or look for my um, link in the description. Uh, visit my website, www.paparazzi.com. <laughs> 
And if you are not a consultant and you're interested in joining Paparazzi, be sure to check out the join page on my, my website for any information that you might need. And um, let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you found this useful. Bye-bye.